Let's check out some of the charts from the tech sector stocks. A very good evening to traders. This is Mark. Welcome to your daily trading video. I think it's time to have a little look at what is driving this market. If you check out the Nasdaq, and I'm going to use the triple Q's ETF. Look at this. This is this thing is just monstering on and on and on and on. And it's a different story when you compare it to the Russell, the S&P 500, uh, the, the Dow. You know, the Nasdaq is really driving this. And then we start to drill down. Look at a monthly chart of this. This is just a solid, solid, strong uptrend. It's a little bit of a quiver. But other than that, it just looks so brutally strong. So where's this all coming from? Well, I was reading some information about uh, e-commerce and online. And do you know, it's such a market that's relatively in its infancy. It doesn't seem it because we've been in it for such a long time. But when you look at the statistics of the number of people who are purchasing online, percentage-wise of the population, um, number of spend, and how it's growing, it is still a growth market. And you look at people like Amazon, and they are just capitalizing massively on this online trend. They are getting such a huge portion of the online business. Now, these guys, Amazon are releasing earnings tomorrow after market close. So I guess everyone is expecting them to blow out. That's probably what's going to happen uh, in, in terms of it's going to blow. It's the upside, uh, good, good results, good earnings. But, you know, if there's a shock to the downside... How far is it going to go lower? But unless it's a real, real brutal shock that comes out of nowhere, a mild shock is probably something that needs to be bought after a few days dip lower. But, you know, taking it taking it as it comes, not predicting anything, just watching the price action. Uh, another big stock, of course, which pretty much runs the internet is Google, or Alphabet as they're called now. Huge stock, um, and, and it just keeps going on and on, on. Look at this on a monthly basis. I haven't got the full chart here because it switched to Alphabet, but um, you can just see it's just constantly all the money's moving from, from other parts of the market into tech because tech just seems to be monstering ahead. And it's the same. These guys are re releasing earnings on Thursday, expecting kind of the same thing. Uh, whatever's going to happen, maybe we'll get a dip lower that gets bought, uh, maybe we'll get a spike high. I think it's the usual earnings kind of uh, gaps that gap strategies that will play from that. So if we gap up, look for the gap and go trade and pull back midday, carry on. If we gap lower, gap lower, and we sort of find a bit of support and then push back up over the open, then there may be well be a buy. And if you look back on that eBay trade that we didn't actually get. It stops you from getting caught out. Um, if you recall, I said that eBay would probably be a buy over 30 if we gap down. Oh, I've got the overnight here. Let me just get rid of that. Uh, it would be a buy if we when we gap down over 30 and push back up. So the premise of the trade is that you have a level. And for, for, for eBay, it was 30. For Amazon and Alphabet, maybe something different. You have to work that out nearer the time. But, you know, if the price gaps below and it's a strong stock... Then when it crosses back above your key level and holds, then you can say, okay, well, even though earnings are gapped it lower, I can work off that as my risk point and I can perhaps look for it to fill the gap. So that's your sort of thesis. And if it doesn't happen, which it didn't happen with eBay, then you don't take it. So there's plenty of ways to, to wrap that up. We've got Deutsche Bank as well tomorrow before the open. That will be very, very interesting indeed. And um, what was the other stock that I want to look at? Oh, yeah, the usual ones, Facebook. You know, Facebook is doing very well it's coming off the high a little bit but you know put it in perspective it's not that far off the high we're talking two days off the all-time high um you can't really call that as bearish pushing on nicely netflix ever since it had the earnings it's had a monster month look at the monthly chart look at the candle on that absolutely brutal so really strong stock waiting for this to pull back a little bit more maybe we get a bit of a shudder in the nasdaq that they can be bought um but this is very very strong and it's doing very very well um and what's the final one the obvious one that we've had today is tesla good old elon musk that's an interesting chart if you look at the monthly chart it's it, it, it as we said before tesla is waiting for something to happen whether it's waiting for him to either you know do really something well and push on and make loads of breakthroughs and, and this and that uh, or they're waiting there's a lot of people positioned short on this waiting for him to fail so i'm watching this with interest um it's gapped up today we're trading it around uh 211 so 211 after the market after the earnings which brings us to about here so we're still in that in that range it hasn't really surprised anyone no one is really trapped um pretty much everyone from october if you look at this is october here uh is fine buyers and sellers 
No one trapped, no setup for me. I want to see that break really above the 215 uh, or below the, the sort of 195, 190 level for me to get interested in that. But always watching the headlines to see how these companies are progressing. So tech is ruled in the roost at the moment. Will it change after elections? Possibly. If the whole market rolls, then obviously money is going to come out, whatever. But at the moment, while we're sort of creeping up and we're, we're just chopping around, waiting for this election um, to, to come out and do something, money seems to be just drifting slowly into tech. So uh, keep an eye on that and maybe there'll be some opportunities from those earnings plays tomorrow. Hope you had a great trading day today, guys. I shall be back with another video tomorrow. Take care.